Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. This is lecture number 5 of Renewable, Renewable and Alternative Energy System and I am your course instructor Osman Javed. In this lecture, I will discuss about energy saving impacts, the building performance and industrial energy production. So in the previous lecture, we have gone through first five points and this is basically their continuation from point six to nine. So the first point is energy saving impacts. Perhaps the most notable way of reducing energy consumption that helps the environment by decreasing the power plant emissions and to generate electricity more power plants can, uh, burn more coal crude oil and other fossil fuel although this me method of creating energy is relatively inexpensive but our planet pays its price in terms of oxides of carbon which include carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide and the other oxides include sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides and nitrogen monoxides these are just a few of the byproducts that the world faces from the traditional method that are being used for power generation carbon dioxide which accounts for majority of airborne pollution contributes in greenhouse gases when the carbon dioxide is released in the air it absorbs the sun warmth and it keeps the heat in our atmosphere basically this is called the greenhouse effect it is a natural phenomena and it is necessary for uh, the survival of earth but excess of everything anything can be harmful so are the effects of greenhouse gases however as the power plant burn more fuel to create more energy the extra carbon waste traps much of the heat this can have a detrimental impact on our land as well as on our lives effects of greenhouse gas emissions include the most important is the global warming warming that means the temperatures of the earth will gradually tend to rise the other include the heat waves and the droughts the higher sea levels due to deformation of glaciers and abnormal weather pattern and increase intensity of natural disaster one of the main problem that we are facing due to these harmful gases are the smog and acid rain smog is a major problem in Punjab especially in Lahore cutting back on energy consumption reduces the amount of electricity that power plants have to make subsequently reducing the amount of fossil fuels that are burned each day even a small change can make a tremendous difference if the American household Credit in just one incandescent light bulb for efficient CFL, the reduced pollution would be equivalent to taking 1.3 million cars off the road. The second one is the market average efficiency per appliance many of the appliances for sale nowadays are energy certified which means that they will consume less energy as compared to the conventional non-energy efficient counterparts however energy efficient appliances are expensive and energy efficient appliances often come at a 
price premium having many homeowners to wonder if these appliances are worth it or useful in most of the case, cases the answer is yes because the amount you will save depends upon the electricity cost of the appliances you are looking to replace as well as incentives available for energy effective or energy efficient products in your area on an average basis home appliances including washing machine dishwashers refrigerators freezers air conditioners and humidifiers that will contribute to almost 20% of your home total electricity bill however energy certified energy star certified appliances which are certified by united states department of energy are capable of reducing that share from uh, let's say 20 to 15% the average home appliances last for about 10 to 20 years and in an energy star certified appliances will you it will use from 10 to 50 percent less energy each year than a non energy efficient equivalent or replacement so that 20 percent share uh, would be reduced to about let's say uh, 10 to 15 percent by replacing the appliances in your home with energy certified appliances you will make an investment that will reduce your energy bill or electricity bill for the following years to come which is especially important as each year the price of electricity and other fossil fuel based energy sources are getting expensive this is especially important when you recognize that electricity rates are increasing every year some of the appliances use more energy than others the amount you save is dependent on the age of your current appliance and the electricity rates that you pay the third one or the eighth number is the building performance. Building performance is measured in U values. The U value is the thermal transmittance that the thermal energy is transmitted from a building. It is measured in U value. There are number of ways to increase the energy efficiency of a building and many other different parts of the building that can be improved to boost its value better insulation more effective windows design and doors and skylights as well as high efficiency air conditions and furnace can all contribute to more efficient home by keeping warm air inside or outside the home as well being able to properly regulate the temperature of a home through the use of thermostat is a major part of having an energy efficient home as having the high and uh, uh, as having the right uh, equipment is just as important as properly using it overall there are many strategies to increase the efficiencies which include proper amount of insulation in the walls by being able to secure the walls by uh, uh, providing proper uh, insulating materials and uh, uh, basically it is called uh, weatherizing the building using uh, weather strip and caulking uh, caulking and uh, insulation uh, materials can be interchangeably used uh, in terminologies but the main difference in caulking and uh, the other one was insulation is that uh, 
uh, when using insulation uh, materials uh, you use it where uh, there is uh, some expansion and contraction with respect to weather and while in using caulking you have a rigid material Insta uh, the other thing is uh, that installing high quality windows that utilize lower electrical coatings and gas fillings while choosing the glazing of the window frame material that will be most beneficial in the environment installing high performance system and appliances and evaluate their performance over their life cycle next is the monitoring and verification of performance through energy audits to see that uh, whether the energy is uh, full uh, used in a uh, qualitative way or quantitative way the energy should be used in most cost effective way to make improvements through retrofilling overall the general approach to achieve high efficiency building includes cutting the energy demand of the building and producing energy locally from renewable energy sources like uh, wind and solar power plants and sharing the energy by creating buildings that generate a surplus of energy that they are able to feed back in to the grid structure the next one is the industrial energy productivity that is number 9 so basically the uh, ep or an uh, energy productivity of an industry me is measured by uh, the ratio of the consumption of an industry to its output uh, energy input means that uh, the amount of fuel and other resources that the industry is using and the output is their product and the productivity will be simply its efficiency that is the ratio of output divided by the input energy saving impacts building performance and industrial productivity these are the three main strategies that are the parameters that indicative of energy impacts have just been discussed now we will move to the final energy impacts let's just uh, leave this slide because uh, we have uh, gone in detail of u values so this is the uh, bar chart of uh, different years uh, ranging from 1975 to 2005 you can see that the u values have significantly reduced with proper energy conservation principle this is the graph of uh, china industry sector and it demonstrated their energy intensity and these graph also show that using proper energy saving strategies can reduce the energy consumption trends 